Welcome to Operation Outreach, a new program to highlight the services available to military veterans in Central Florida. I'm Fred Robinson, Chair of the Orange County Mayor's Veterans Advisory Council. I'm pleased to be joined by Mike Manley, the American Legion Department of Florida Assistant Adjutant. Mike, thank you for being here today. Well, thanks for having me, Fred. All it's right. good to see you. You as well. Um, Mike, can you tell me, what is the American Legion? Well, the American Legion is the country's largest uh, veteran sur service uh, organization. Uh, we have about two million members. Um, been around for about 104 years now. Um, and uh, we've got about 90,000 members in the state of Florida alone, so. Okay. Mike, what is the mission of the American Legion? So we're, we're basically serving veterans. Uh, we uh, have four pillars that we focus on, Americanism, defense, veterans, and children and youth. And, uh, and most of the programs that we have focus on those four broad issues. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about Boys and Girls State? So yeah, Boys State and Girls State, they're my favorite. So Boys State's run by the American Legion and the, uh, our auxiliary runs the Girls State. And these uh, students are rising seniors, so they'll, it'll be that they're coming up on their senior year. They get to go to Tallahassee um, and they build a 51st fictional state. Uh, they begin by electing officials from the mayors all the way up to state reps, the Supreme Court, and the governor. And then they start meeting, they start presenting bills, and they physically are in the building, in the actual Supreme Court, in the House, in the representatives, in the Senate. And, uh, and they go through the week and they learn the functioning uh, of the uh, of real time of how things work and it's really really fascinating the change that these kids go through while they're up there yeah it's a, it's it's important the development of uh, building the future leaders of America when I was with the Legion my son actually went to Boys State he had oh, the he opportunity did? and he ended up being a senator so yeah. um, I know what it does for the youth and as far as qualifying them to get to the academies if they're chosen. Absolutely, what it can do. it's very transformational. You'll see uh, really shy kids really come out of their shells and, and you'll see uh, leaders born that week. It's, it's really, really a special program for yeah. both the boys and the girls. Tell me about the American Legion National Emergency Fund. So the National Emergency Fund uh, officially was started in 89 during Hur Hurricane Hugo. Um, and since that time, uh, the Legion has raised and dispersed uh, $30 million worth of monies toward, uh, you know, restoring and helping veterans that have uh, been hit hard. Uh, they've uh, obviously contributed to the hurricanes in Florida, but the wildfires in Hawaii, the floods in the Dakotas, and some of the lesser known uh, disasters that we've had over the, the past couple of decades, uh, it's really added up to quite a, a, a good response. Yeah. Um, I, I know it's, it's, it's helped a lot of our members with mm -hmm. um, the different challenges they went through from these particular national disasters because we've been having quite a few back to back. Yeah, correct. And, and the Department of Florida now has uh, its own disaster relief fund. Really? Um, yes, it does over the past few years. And it's uh, actually our commander's uh, one, one of the two charities that, that he has chosen for uh, fundraising this year. Um, and, and we did give quite a bit of money to Hawaii during the wildfires at that time. Good, know, great. So it's pretty good. Can you describe some of the, uh, the children and youth programs? Yeah, so the children and youth programs uh, are, are pretty special. So wh what happens when a lot of these uh, troops are deployed and, and even some of the veterans' families, you know, they go through a lot of distress. And these, uh, these programs that we have uh, basically uh, help toward, you know, these unforeseen circumstances that happen at that time. So uh, when you have uh, some families that are in a little bit of distress and they have children in the home, we, uh, we focus on them and, uh, and provide uh, monies and services, temporary assistance in the form of grants. Uh, that's, that's, that's a great resource because, yes. you know, having, having that, um, that father or mother figure deployed mm -hmm. and um, needing some extra financial support it's important for everybody. So, right, you know, exactly. I'm glad that the American Legion provides that, that particular resource. Um, can you tell me um, some of the children and youth programs, some different things about them? So, so you're referring to things like Boys, uh, Boys yes. State and, or, and the American Legion oratorical, Baseball, yes. the Oratorical, which is to me uh, another one of the uh, maybe lesser known programs, but it's fascinating because they, these kids, they, uh, they have to write uh, and, and, and 
give speeches relating to the Constitution. So every year it's a little different which amendment or which section of the Constitution that they have to research and learn about. And uh, they go all the way from a post level and they get sponsored by post. And then they, they go to a, a state competition and they have a national oratorical competition where uh, they give out some sizable scholarships. It's uh, really quite interesting to listen to the talented kids as they speak about it. And what is Ameri Americanism and how does the American Legion promote it? So Americanism is uh, active citizenship and programming that brings up wholesome, uh, uh, prioritized uh, patriotism. So, you know, the, the Americanism, things that fall under that are like the, the uh, U.S. flag code, um, the pledge in the schools, um, things like that. Uh, the idea behind it is to keep that patriotic spirit in, the, in, in our youth as they, and, and in our uh, facilities, you know, everywhere we go. Uh, you know, it, it, there are a lot of times where you'll see the flag code isn't is being broken, and mm -hmm. it's it's unfortunate. And, and you know, as, as as you know, we've also had the bill go back and forth over the last forty years over protecting the flag. Correct. Uh, and, and so that has never gone away, and it's actually coming back up in prominence. So uh, hopefully, we can get some good traction on that issue. Is the American Legion active in any politics? Yes. Yeah, so we we are a political nonpartisan entity, and we. Uh, serve as the veterans advocate in uh, state and federal government. Uh, so uh, what we will, what, what we focus on is what's best for the veteran. Uh, one current issue that we have right now is we've got uh, the Veterans Administration just this week, uh, there was a story out that said that we, they had lost 120,000 veteran claims over the last 10 years, 120,000. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, there's also uh, an issue where a lot of retired DOD uh, uh, people uh, have, if they have less than 50% uh, of a uh, rating with a VA, the DOD's pension, they subtract that away. They're considering that, consider that a double dip. And so hopefully we can get that policy ended. Uh I appreciate um, what the American Legion is doing as far as advocating for our, our veterans in Washington, D.C. And can you briefly tell me a little bit about your military background and what your purpose is and what sure. it means to you to be the assistant adjutant? Of course, adjutant? of course. So I, I, uh, I joined the military. I, was, I joined the Army Reserve when I was 22, and I was a mailman in the Army. And so uh, uh, that was in 1990. And so I was halfway through basic training. August 2nd, of course, when Saddam invaded Kuwait. And uh, so I did that deployment. And then I did another one in 98 in Bosnia during uh, Operation Joint Guard. And uh, and the the times that I had there, you know, uh, it was sad when, when I didn't, didn't belong anymore. The good thing about uh, being in a veteran service organization is that you kind of get that back. You know, you can do uh, missions with a purpose, right? Whether you're doing a, a blood drive or a, a bike drive, or if you're helping a widow get her benefit form filled out, you know, after three years after the husband has passed away. So that, that idea of working as a team and then working it in the Legion as a team and finding a, a good purpose is uh, something that's pretty sweet. Well, it's great to hear the things that the American Legion is doing. Mike, and thank you for letting me interview you today. Absolutely. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. The American Legion is making a significant difference in countless military veterans' lives in our community. When we return, we'll learn more about a program aimed at helping veterans make it sometimes difficult transition to civilian life. Mm -hmm.